four types of communication. I think when we hear the word communication, most of us immediately go to the spoken word. You talked about emotions uh, a few moments ago. That would be another one. Appearance and body language. We've got a lot of personal growth junkies here. Uh, I think we do ourselves a disservice when we don't think about what our appearance and what our body language is communicating. Yes or no? Oh, 100 percent. Yeah. I mean, as you know, studies would show that that body language and appearance, that's you know, that's that's often the first thing that communicates. And some would say that's the loudest in communication. If I um, if I say something that's uh, meaningful and yet my arms are crossed or I've got a posture of defensiveness, I look angry, I look afraid, I look insecure, then that weakens and may even um, completely eradicate any confidence in the what that I said. Uh, I could say something that's not even very impressive, but I could say it from a posture of strength with boldness and you might hear it in a different way and say that's that's good. You know, so what I want to do is I want to I, I want to both match the message um, with the with the physical form of communication, for me, if I if if this doesn't, I hope it doesn't bore anybody. But it's all the way down to I'll change the color of a shirt depending on the type of a message that I want to communicate. For example, if I if I want to be strong and visionary, I'm probably going to wear a black um, something that communicates authority. If I'm trying to help people get relationally connected in small groups, you're probably going to see me wearing a blue shirt because I want the warmth of what you see visually to match the warmth of what I'm trying to communicate verbally. And so to me, it's all the way down to, um, to thinking about uh, the posture, the stance, uh, if I'm doing a video, the way the video is shot, um, what I'm doing with body language, if I'm, if I'm taking a strong, aggressive posture, or if I'm taking more of a relaxed relational posture, all that matters. And so when I'm working with our communicators, I, what I'll even do is I'll have them communicate like a verse of scripture with no words. So, okay, everybody say, for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him would not perish but have eternal life. Now what I want you to do is say that with your body without any words. And so they have to preach it physically. Then let's go back and let's take the, um, the words and let's match it with our physical emotions. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell them to say it in a way that's urgent. Then I'm gonna tell them to say the same verse in a way that's loving. Then I'm gonna have them say the same verse in a way that's excited about the possibility of, of experiencing the grace of Jesus. And essentially what I'm doing is I'm trying to give them different muscles, different gears, different tools to communicate in a different way. I'm stretching their perception of what communication really is and therefore they have more opportunities, more tools, more weapons to increase their effectiveness of communication. Mm. Really good stuff there on communication.